chapter 46 from what are one secrets of effective parenting choices have consequences every choice which is being made there is a consequence for it if you make your children realize this truth this fact that is one of the greatest gift you can give it to them and what do you mean by choices whatever kind of decisions you need to make you have choices see children do have choices maybe um, they can decide to play or they can decide to study they can uh, choose a science stream or they can choose a math streams right so all those set of choices are always given to them right from the young age most of the time in reality what happens as a parent, as a mom, because you think you have a lot of experience in life, you tend to decide for them. You say, I know this is what is a fact, you better do this. You first finish all your homework and then go out to play. You first go ahead, learn everything in your subject, then you can watch the TV, right? All these set of continuous instructions is what children learn right from or hear right from their young age. So always, the decision is made by the parent is what the child feels. Some point of time, your child is trained not to make a decision. So if something goes wrong, if they choose a particular subject and they are not able to perform well in that subject, it's because my mom asked to do it, my dad asked to do it. So I did it, I know it's, it didn't work because today I come across so many engineers who come up to say, oh, just to make my parents happy, I actually chose engineering, but I don't want to be an engineer, right? This is something good number of times I hear. So if you actually go ahead and uh, check the fact, choices have consequences is this. I know as a parent, you'd like to guide them. You would like to use your experience to put them on the right track. All these set of things completely acceptable. But if you go ahead and check as a parent, check this. If we can open up the choices for them, right? These are all the choices what you have. And if you make this choice because of the experience what you have, because of the vision what you have towards life, you can always tell them this is the consequence what you will get. So if you make the choice to, these are all the consequences which you need to face. Consequence always will not mean something which is negative. Yeah, consequence can be something which is wonderful or um, maybe a third choice. If you go ahead and make this choice, these are all the consequences what you will face and then you make the choice. Say for example, this is a, a real time story where it was, um, it was uh, parents and a son where they were completely confused. Uh, the son is somebody who can understand the parents a lot. They, he respects his parents a lot. Uh, so he was in his, uh, very close to his board exams and he wants to go for intense uh, uh, cricket coaching. Right? And uh, so there is a lot of conflict happening in family because the parents are very worried. Uh, so if he takes up the coaching, he may lose out on his studies and the exams are not very far. And and uh, if he completely uh, uh, spends time on studies, uh, the child feels he may not be able to focus better because it's, it's part of it. The game is part of it. He feels he's not complete. The day is not complete without playing cricket. That's, that's exactly what he feels. So um, it, was a, uh, it was a lot of tough things to be decided. And if the parents force him to go ahead and only study, they know he will not be happy. And he feels if I, if I take up seriously cricket, it's, it's going to be uh, difficult, tough because my parents wants me to completely stop it for about six months kind of time frame so this is these are all all the confusions which are going on in family and they sit down to talk and after understanding choices have consequences what the parents decided was this they made to explain they went ahead to explain so these are all the choices you have you can completely focus on the game and uh, get a okay marks in your subjects and always you can do something later or you actually uh, mix it in some combination or you can completely focus on studies and uh, stop all your game right and these are all the choices they had and then they gave them all the consequences and finally the choice what the parents had in mind was this less of game more of studies that's what the parents also wanted and the child also chose the same choice here the major difference is this it's not the mom who has decided it's not the father who has decided it is a child who has decided which means you pass on the power to make the decision to the child you pass on the responsibility to the child because now this is my decision to do more of studies and less of game for a specified period 
which means I need to do well in my studies, which was the ultimate objective of the parent. And I'm not going to miss out on the game. And it turned out to be very good. And the most interesting fact is this, on that day was one of the greatest day for that family. Um, because what they've created is a future for the child. I mean, it is one of the very small uh, decision making which the family has to do, but it's never stops there. It's going to be multiple decisions which which as a family they have to make uh, for the child. So they made the son realize you have the power to make the decision and the choices what he faces is completely yours because your choice, you are making the uh, choices and you need to face the consequence. You need to handle the consequence. You need to uh, enjoy the outcomes of the consequences what you face. So choices do have consequence always instead of getting in an argument with your child, instead of forcing your child to do something, start giving them choices. Start giving them, if we step out to play now, this is what is the consequence you have. If you don't complete your homework, this is what is the consequence what you have. So make the choice and you can still influence them. You can still guide them towards the right choice, but they need to feel it's my choice what I made. It is the consequence which I need to face, I need to handle it which makes a huge difference for them. So give them the power to make decision, make them realize they have the power to choose a choice, power to make a choice and consequence, they have the strength to face it and they must have to face it. Secret number 46, let your children make their own choices, then allow them to face the consequences. As long as the situation is well under control, do not intervene to bail them out. Let them learn their lessons on their own.